Uh, continuation of this burping video here. Got uh, 166, 67 high degrees. Over there, we're getting almost 100 and yeah, saw 180 pop up on that. So that's pretty cool. Getting heat. In the back here, got 131, 38 I saw. So the heat's starting 140. So depending on where I'm putting it, 142. Definitely starting to get heat there now. This one is coming in at about 138 as a high. So that's good. 141. Back here, we're getting air at 130 something degrees, 135, 136. So it looks like this burping tool definitely works, right? So 160. Not bad, we're getting good heat. Better heat from the middle here, 187 degrees. I saw it pop up there, 188, 190. Not bad. So, I think this little burping tool uh, does the trick. Uh, this is hard to, uh, this, this thermostat here, which I changed months and months ago. I don't know if you can really see it, but that, uh, that does have a bleeder screw on it. Um, but the rear system on this, on these Dodges seems to be uh, pretty difficult to bleed out the air. So and you got to get one of these little tools, 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, seems like it does the trick. This little guy here, um, this was about uh, twenty dollars on Amazon. You get all these different adapters, different adapters for the radiator. And uh, what's cool about this one here is it's got a little valve on there, so you could uh, shut the water off here and kind of put it back in your container. Uh, whatever you don't, whatever doesn't go in the actual radiator. I guess you'll have a little bit of a spill from the rest of it that's not going to go into the rad theoretically but you're not going to make an entire mess so pretty cool pretty cool for 20 bucks and then you just put it all back in the uh, funnel and use this as your cap maybe put it back in your box store it away for the next time all right good luck good luck with your radiator bleeding needs I've changed radiators in the past but and I never had to use this tool, but on the minivan here, it, like I said, getting heat out of the, the rear heating system proved to be difficult. So there you have it. See you on the next one.